ACPS director Jim Crosby says the owner of these four dogs who mauled a man to death on Friday will likely face civil citations from ACPS. Crosby says Leftness Felton could also face criminal charges as serious as negligent manslaughter, but says that will be determined by JSO and the state attorney's four office. Four dogs were removed from an east side home tonight after a deadly attack. Now the dog's owner is defending his pets and took us inside his backyard where that attack happened. Cole Heath is, Heath is live at JSO headquarters tonight. And Cole, investigators say the dogs may have left their yard and then dragged the victim back into it. But I spoke with the dog's owner and he tells me that he believes that his animals were provoked before the attack. But both investigators and neighbors I spoke with say that was not the case. My dog ain't no vicious dog. They're vicious to protect this yard. Leaf has felt and owns the four dogs. We watch animal control officers remove from his home of Van Buren and Jesse. My dog is trained to protect this yard. I have signs and all that, be well dog signs all over. Felton showed me where the deadly attack happened in his backyard. So it happened right here? Yes, right here. So how they going how they going to get him and pull him back in? Felton says the unidentified victim, a man police say is white and in his 60s, provoked the animals pictured here. But witnesses tell Action News Jax and JSO investigators the victim was taking out the garbage at this dumpster behind Felton's yard when the dogs went under the fence and dragged him back here killing him. Listen, and you can hear the neighbors call the dogs vicious. They got to do their job. Dogs, man, they are vicious. It looks like they went underneath the fence by all the accounts that we have. No, they, how are they going to do that, dog? Have they ever showed any signs of aggression toward anybody? Anybody that's be teasing my dogs. JSO tells me that they are still working to figure out which dogs were actually involved in the attack, and it's too soon to make that decision. Meanwhile, investigators also tell me that they are working with the state attorney's office right now to decide if any criminal charges will be filed against the owners of the animals. Reporting live, Cole Heath, CBS 47 Action News.